When you connect your ZET or XBR9 series TV to the internet through the built-in ethernet jack, you have access to internet video. All these channels that you see here on the cross media bar, Epicurious, uh, Sony Pictures, Ford Modeling, Crackle, YouTube, these are all available to you to watch video that's pulling directly from the internet. So it's always up to date and always brand new. I'm in the podcast channel here, so we have a bunch of popular pod video podcasts that are independently produced. There's a lot of great niche content. If we look at them coming up here, we have things like CNN, Cranky Geeks, MTV News, Geek Brief TV. We'll click on CNN Daily and we'll load up some video here. Each one of these is produced independently. We get this nice feedback while it's buffering. You can see that it's loading and buffering. You also have the ability to scan forward and back, as well as if you press up and down on your cross media bar, you can change the zoom of the picture, so making it original size or zoomed out. We don't want to watch the ad, so we're just going to scan forward here. And once we've stopped a bit, it'll rebuffer and we'll VN start has to see the program. First government imposed deadline to complete its restructuring or be forced into bankruptcy. And that's really all there is to it. You're using the comfortable cross media bar controls so you can pick something else here we're picking geek brief tv you can see on the thumbnails all the tags and show descriptions that are there and again just like any other internet video you select it it loads and buffers and begins to play as soon as there's enough put together this episode is 331 hey i'm callie lewis you're watching geek brief tv this is brief 565 <laughs> And you can see the video is whatever the producers make it. It can be full screen, very high quality. There can be some funny YouTube type videos that might not be as good a quality. There's com content from Yahoo. We're going to go look at the YouTube interface, which is a great couch interface. All the things are there, search and your popular items. There's a keyboard you can use, either pick the letters or text like a keyboard. But if you had the options, previous searches, you can just select them. So I've picked Convergineer here. We're going to look at our courses through YouTube. I'll select this Bravia LCD television, L, S, and V series, so the entry-level information about our Bravia lineup this year, and it's going to buffer and load up. And when it's ready, it'll just start playing it's over on the right. We can click on it, go full the screen. Series, the S and the v. Again, Starting adjust the, the size. And while it's playing, we can still search and look for other items. If we go back, you can see most popular, most discussed, most linked, most viewed, all your regular YouTube searches. This is pulling directly from YouTube, so you always have the latest stuff. So in most popular, you can see the kind of things that uh, were popular today when I logged on. And you just click on whatever you want and you're ready to watch. So built-in video on the cross media bar on your Z and XBR series with Bravia Internet Video.